हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल असद इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी इन 2021 टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन दैट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट सैंपल साइज फॉर पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड पॉपुलेशन पोर्शन दैट्स लेक्चर कंटेन्स टू स्टेप्स इन फर्स्ट स्टेप आई विल कैलकुलेट सैंपल साइज फॉर पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड which is the starting uh, starting part of the lecture but in ending part of the lecture which is the second step in which we will calculate the sample size for population proportion so there are two steps are very very important and very very beneficial to you don't skip any do any two steps because they are will be very helpful to you so let's start the lecture so in that lecture i will have to calculate sample size for population mean dash problem is given but in second step for population proportion problem will be changed i will discuss very conceptually so so first of all i will start the first step first step is given here problem if you wish to estimate the mean of a known population whose variance is 10 you already know that variance is sigma square so here variance sigma square is equal to 10 that simply you have to just calculate here sigma very simply sigma is equal to square root of both side you can say that taking the square root of both sides you can easily calculate here sigma sigma is equal to square root of 10 i calculate now uh, square root of 10 we get the value of 3.16 sigma is here 3. One six, which has calculated the value. Next step, probability is zero point eighty. That your estimate will be in the error. Error is given here by more than zero point four. So simply you can say that error is denoted by e. So right here e is equal to zero point four. That's it. So you have to just calculate here sample size. You can easily calculate. You already know that I have already discussed. what is the formula of sample size i have already discussed the video how to make the sample size formula that lecture is available in description which i have discussed in last my lecture so this formula is very simple you already know that n is equal to z alpha by 2 sigma divided by e completing square so that formula will use to calculate the sample size very easy so here sigma and e sigma is a standard deviation sigma is a standard deviation which is already given and e is already given you have to calculate just here z alpha by 2 very simply very shortcut method to calculate the z alpha by 2 you can easily calculate so first of all probability is already given just follow the steps put 1 minus alpha which is the level of confidence is equal to given here probability is 0.8 is equal to 0.8 that simply you can this all that 1 dash plus value will be here on the left hand side 0.8 is equal to minus alpha will be here plus alpha calculate here 1 minus 0.8 so value is given here 0.2 So I'll get the value here, 0.2 alpha. But you have to calculate here alpha by 2. So you have to divide both sides by 2. Calculate here, 0.2 divided by 2. We get the value here, 0.1. So we have calculated the value alpha by 2 is equal to 0.1. Now next step, you already know that the standard value of normal distribution is total area under normal curve is 1. You already know that total area of normal curve is one. That is a 0.5, and that portion is a 0.5. So you have to just simply focus that point. You can write here 0.5 value here, 0.5, which is the standard value of normal distribution minus alpha by two. Always you can use that step in all way you calculate the z alpha by two. Just four steps. So here 0.5. Minus alpha by two is zero point one. I have here zero point zero point five minus zero point one. I calculate the value zero point four. So I have here zero point four 
कब प्रीटिंग स्केयर डेट्स इट नेक्स्ट पी क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय ई स्केयर सो डेट सॉल्वर विल यूज हियर टू कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ साइड सो हियर पी इज ऑलरेडी गिवन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट क्यू व्हाट इज क्यू क्यू वेरी सिंपल यू हैव टू हैव क्यू इज इक्वल टू 1 माइनस पी आई कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट 1 माइनस 0.3 आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग नाउ 1 माइनस 1 minus uh sorry 1 minus 0.3 we get the value here 0.7 so here you can see that q is given here 0.7 that's clear next e is already given 0.06 you have to just calculate this z alphabet to i have already discussed how to calculate z alphabet to so very simply it must remember i already discussed put 1 minus alpha is equal to probability is given 0.95 simply just like before you can do it easily 1 minus 0.95 is equal to minus plus alpha 1 minus 0.95 we get the value as 0.05 we get the value here 0.05 equal to alpha you have to calculate alpha by 2 So you have to divide both sides by two. Simply divided by two, we get the value here. Alpha by two is equal to zero point zero two five. Just like before, just uh, just uh, standard value of normal distribution put minus alpha by two, which is given here zero point zero two five. Zero point zero two five. Zero point five minus zero point zero two five. We get the value here. 0.475. I'll discuss C dash value and Moss dash value in the table of areas of standard distribution table. Table is table is just change, but table is very large. I've discussed according to the problem. So here 0.475. 0.475 in that section is given. So just put the edges of that 1.96. So I have calculated here. So Z alpha by two. Equal to 1.96. Very simply, just put all the values in that section. You can calculate sample size. Just put the value and is equal to z alpha by 2 1.96. Simply completing square. That's it. Next will be here p q. P is given here. Uh, p is given as 0.3. 0.3. And next uh, q is given here as uh, 0.7. 0.7. That's it. And next step will be here. Uh, e square. E square is, is 0.06. Completing square. Now you can easily calculate that value. That's completing square. That multiply. Dividing. Uh, multiply to both sides. You can easily calculate sample size. You can do it. I hope that you can do it himself. I hope that. You you have gained a lot of points and a lot of points and concepts about that. Thanks for watching the video. If you like that video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel. I must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.